All right, let's get after this thing, man. Let's get this thing installed. It's gonna be great. So excited. Okay, this system is set up for 604 pounds of pressure, 236 low pressure, and 604 high pressure. So we want to go up to at least 600 pounds of pressure because this system is going to do that as soon as we turn it on. So we want to make sure nitrogen, which is very inexpensive, does a pressure check of the highest rating it's going to do when the system comes on automatically. Okay, when we're running our nitrogen test, we're going to leave off this cap here. Uh, first, our nitrogen pressure test, we're going to leave this cap off. Uh, we, I have the nylog already on, on, on this valve already. And the nylog is there already, so I have it just set up. I guess I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. The uh, so I can get some pressure. So now we have pure nitrogen inside there instead of air. So that's what we want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it one more time. Again, I already have nylog already on there. I'm going to do it one more time, just a little bit. Just to make sure I'm pushing out any little bit of air that's there. All right, so now it's all, well, for sure, it's all just nitrogen inside there. And then we'll uh, set it full of nitrogen. See how it does the test without having air inside. We use better bubbles to test our uh, testing procedures for the bubbles, make sure it's not leaking. And uh, you want to just completely dry it out. You don't want anything in there. You see that? That's under 40 installs. There's still a whole bunch in there. It's brand new still. You don't use any product. You just get it all off there. Then you just go over like this and you, you go and you make bubbles by roughing it up just by roughing it. And you make bubbles. You want to have the bubbles in such a way that it has to penetrate those things. So that if there's any, any gas that are trying to get out, it'll penetrate through the bubbles and do it. So you make the bubbles like when you're doing this. So just everywhere there could possibly be a leak. You simply apply it and just keep doing the same thing. You don't keep up go dipping the thing into more metal bubble. You don't sit there and keep dipping it into this thing. This is it. It's more than you ever need. You can see how much it makes. You just want to cover every seam to where if it tries to get out, it'll have to force its way through these bubbles. Okay? It's perfect product. And you don't use any. I've seen people go through bottles of this stuff. What? The hell? How? Anyway, you're not doing it right. This way here, you can look at that. If you if there was anything trying to leak out of there, it would try to force its way through the bubbles, and it would just be, you'd be instantly noticeable. It looks like a uh, mushroom cloud on an atom bomb. It just starts building and building and building. Uh, as the gas tries to go through those bubbles. So anyway, it's perfect. No leaks anywhere. I wouldn't check that the because uh, you're supposed to leave the line set uncovered. So I also tested there. There's no leaks there. So it's totally awesome. And uh, we're all set up. Um, right now we're set up at 500 pounds. This, uh, these, some of these, these inexpensive uh, nitrogen gauges, nobody wants to pay more than the 40 bucks they sell them on Amazon for. And this is the best one. It's RX Well, but it still doesn't go really much more than 500 pounds. I got it all the way up. Sometimes it'll go up to 600, but not always. So anyway, they're very inexpensive. They're pretty crummy, but that's about the price you're going to get out of it. And uh, it's sad, but as soon as we turn this system on, we will do our final test. See, because the system itself is going to turn up to the maximum rated thing as soon as we turn it on high. And we'll do a final test at the very end before we wrap up our line set and see that everything's still working fine. But so far, this has been 500 pounds for half an hour and it's perfectly fine using these gauges here. Okay, this gauge here is reading, you can't really use these regulator gauges, I keep trying to tell people that, but uh, if you gotta use what you gotta use, if this is all you're gonna really do, is I, got to, I have to do what you're gonna do, so that's it. So we're about 600 pounds, a little less. I couldn't get it to go any higher than that. It's cranked all the way in. And so that's our test. We're going to do it for half an hour and see if it stays. And uh, we got pictures of that, and we'll make sure it's exactly the same spot half hour from now. And I've already tested all the uh, um, joints. So if there was anything uh, trying to come out of any one of these joints, you'd clearly see it bigger than days. Okay? 
It's completely covered with better bubble, which is fantastic. And so if it's going to leak, uh, we would see it. All right, so this is a killer product. Uh, it's better bubble. Make sure you get some of that. And uh, we'll get our nitrogen test done. Okay, I'm all set up, I'm loaded up for bear here, gonna get this thing installed. I'm gonna do three different videos. I'm gonna show with the manifold gauges. I'm gonna show the manifold gauges with the, uh, just using the nitrogen bottle uh, regulator as our, <laughs> our determination of how high much pressure's in there. And I'm gonna do it, of course, with the real tools. Uh, so after we, we get done with the $100 kit, which is just your hokey dokey uh, manifold gauge set and this little drilly pump, um, it's the kind you get for hundred bucks at Amazon. So I'm doing a video with that right there uh, And how it pulls down good and everything and of course I'm using the uh, awesome killer pump um, And so we'll, we'll do that to get it all set up uh, instead of having this uh, manifold gauge we'll be using um, The most killer digital tools and of course we got the awesome uh, Navac hose AVAC system So that's gonna be awesome so, much difference, and we'll see how it all goes. But I'll make three different videos, and you'll be able to peruse them at whatever you're into. Okay, I did these uh, about a half hour ago, um, under 600 pounds of pressure, and there's nothing leaking. That's what's nice about this Better, better Bubble product. It stays right where it's put through the entire testing procedure. Uh, literally, if there was any gas trying to escape between those seams, look at that. It's completely covered with suds, so it would bubble up and you would see it instantly. So it totally works fantastic. It stays through the entire time. It's totally awesome. Anyway, get the better bubble. It's the best. And anyway, we have no leaks. Okay, it's been an hour uh, under 600 pounds of pressure and uh, no problem at all. Everything seems to be fine. No leaks anywhere. And uh, the better bubble, better bubble is holding up. You can add every single seam is completely covered. So if it was anything trying to escape from those seams, uh, you'd know it. I even put it on the hoses. I put it everywhere. So anyway, it's totally covered and we're totally out, set up. So no leaks, everything's perfect, and we're going to go ahead and start our vacuum. Okay, we got our pump hooked up. Now we got it to the yellow service line. And it goes right over to the middle service port right here on this manifold gate set. And then uh, we're not going to be using the high side here. You see it's high. Red is high. I'm not going to be using that today. We'll be using the low side. And uh, we're going to be looking at that right here. See where it says 30 right there? It's 30. That's where we want to get to. We want to get to that 30 and hold it there. We're going to, we're going to vacuum for 30 minutes. And then hopefully it'll stay right there. And then we're going to turn it off and let it hold. And hopefully it doesn't go down from that 30. So once we get to that point, right now it's just perfectly what we're, uh, temperature we're at right now zero pressure but when we get down here we're going to pull it down to th minus 30 is what it says see where it says minus 30 uh, okay i don't know if i can show you that but anyway uh, hopefully you can see it and um so we're going to go ahead and start our pump right now so all we're using is just the uh blue hose it goes over it goes over here to the adapter we have a 5 16 adapter okay there's a mini split valve that has a 516 thread so you need the adapter and then we just hook the hose right to that okay so you just have the adapter and then the hose that's all you got you come over here to this manifold gauge set so we're going to go ahead and start up our vacuum and uh pull it down see if we can get to um that 30 mark that's our that's our key we want to get to 30 and then hold it for uh half an hour after we get there for half an hour so we're going to do an hour one hour test one hour vacuuming and one half hour test so so got it. let me just start over <laughs> one hour altogether 30 minutes of vacuuming it'll hopefully get to 30 and stay there and then 30 more minutes of wait time to see if it stays there so that, that 30 you're reading there is good for all of our numbers all we care about is staying at 30 30 30 so we're going to vacuum for 30 minutes we're going to hold for 30 minutes and hopefully that stays right at 30. all right here we go let's do this Okay, the 30 minutes just started, and uh, we have uh, at 30, all the way down there to 30. So we're going to go ahead and give it 30 minutes of, of vacuuming. And uh, you don't hear it much because it's just a small vacuum. But we're going to let it go for 30 minutes, pulling as deep as vacuum as we can with this. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Bring you back here in 30 minutes. 
that is the system right there. You see the manifold gauges up on the top right, and then your vacuum down at the bottom left, and it's hooked to your um, valve at the mini split. So you got the blue line going down, the low, the low side going down to the mini split, and it's hooked onto a 5 16 adapter because the blue line only had a quarter inch. They don't have the adapter built in. So we bought an adapter, put that on there, got the blue line hooked to it, and then we have the yellow line, the surface line, going to the middle. And uh, the vacuum pump working like good. It's going for 30 minutes. And it'll just do that. And uh, we're right here again, checking it all out. So it's at 30, and we'll uh, just keep it here for 30 minutes. Let it be down, then we'll, put a, we'll hold it and see if it'll stay there for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes so far. I got another 10 more minutes of being on the vacuum, and then uh, we'll do a 30 minute wait test. So, got 10 more minutes of this. I'll bring you back. This is what it sounds like with your little machine going. The vacuum machine. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn off our vacuum and uh, see if that'll hold there for 30 minutes. That'll be our test now. We'll have a 30 minute test. So we'll turn off the vacuum first. And we'll watch this thing here. And for 30 minutes, we'll have a test. Make sure it stays right there and doesn't go down. That means you, you did a good vacuum. The uh, line's all vacuumed up and you'll be able to release the refrigerant into the system. Simple as that. One, two, three. Let's hope for a good test for half an hour. Make sure it doesn't move. Okay, we passed our test. It's exactly still at 30, uh, just like it was before. And we're all set. So we passed our 30 minute test to make sure it didn't rise at all. So we have no leaks. We're ready now to release the refrigerant into our system. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we removed the cap off this one here. Now we remove this one here. We're ready to release our refrigerant. You see the, uh, you can see them right here, the little shiny things here. Those are stops. So when you start unscrewing it, it'll just go right to that stop and stop. You don't have to worry about unscrewing it too far. As soon as you get to the stop, it stops by itself. You don't have to go any further. You'll be all set. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, as I said, there's a stop right there. So you only go as far as the stop is concerned. And you just want to just go slowly. And it'll just come all the way on, all the way to that point. Okay, we'll do the next one. Perfect. All right, then we'll take our caps and put them right back on there. All your refrigerants in. We'll put our. We'll click our disconnect. We have a disconnect up there. We'll get the disconnect bit on there. Yeah, we haven't got our electrical yet. We'll get all that set up. And we're, our refrigerants now in the line. We're all set to go. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. I'll get right to them.